Okay guys, this is Premium97 here. Um, just wanted to show you, got some parts in today. Just wanted to show you which parts I got in today. It's the O-ring, number 25, in the center of the screen there. So, this is the part that I'm more concerned for. It's the O-ring, right there. That's for the uh, shift fork, number 3, item number 3. Shift fork on the shaft A on the um, servo body, which is the accumulator. So that's the servo body on the accumulator. All the accumulators, all these piston accumulators. But this is the other, this is for the shift fork. So that's the O-ring. And that's the component right there. Okay, so I got some parts in. I wanted to show you some parts. So, got it in in a bubble wrap bag. It's the item number Honda Genuine Parts 21812 PLX 000 assembled in USA. And it is the, uh, the end cover gasket, I believe. I believe it's the end cover gasket. Yes, it's the transmission. This is for the Honda Civic BMX A two door Honda Civic Coupe. So this is the end, the right side end cover gasket. So that's the part number I showed you. What else is in this bag? Okay, so we got another item. It's the O ring that I mentioned to you. So the O ring is nine one three four four five eight zero. 000 made in Japan. So that's the O ring. Okay, there you go. And that. And what else did I get from my transmission rebuild? The rebuild consists of the 4 and 2 drum set, which is the disc clutch. The disc clutch, the clutch set. So there it is. So disc clutch set two two five four four PLX A zero one assembled in the USA. And how many of these did I get? I picked up. Let's see. So there's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. There's five, there's six. Okay, so I'll get you to have a look at that more clear. What these actual parts are so genuine Honda parts. These are really crisp. Look at that. It's like so finely detailed. But they actually come off pretty quick. <laughs> And you rub against them in high compression. When the disc, the drum set is in compression, these wear out fast. And 170, no, I, my transmission started slipping at 167,000 kilometers. So that's actually pretty good. Some people on the forums, 90,000 kilometers, and they started slipping already. So they must have been revving the hell out of their your engine. So that's what happened when you rev your engine hard is you wear down the disc clutch because it's in gear, it has to go into gear. And number two pack is the one the clutch set number two is the one that is worn down a lot quicker for some reason. So I'm replacing the four and two in the drum set in the main shaft, the main shaft body. So, okay, so the automatic uh, transmission main shaft, so part of four and two. When you look at the clutch set on four and two, let's look at the clutch set on four and two. Okay. So, see there's a clutch set 4 and 2, 
So two to four clutch, that's the component that we're going to be placing. So second and fourth clutch. So I've ordered number 11 and six of those. says so number 11, there's six of those and the rest are all good. The rest, the 14, they're all just burnt on the surface but you can just use a wet sandpaper the automotive wet sandpaper, black sandpaper, and wet it. And what I did was I used WD with the with the um, sprayed it on the disc clutch, not the disc clutch, but the metal the metal pieces. So they're the number fourteen, the plates, the clutch. Yeah, they're still the plate though, but not the disc clutch. But the plates are metal, but they were burning. So I used a. Um, a wet um, sandpaper for automotives. It's a black colored one. So you just sand it down right to the fine metal and it should grip again because it's caught you don't want it to be too smooth. You want it a little bit to get some grip on it. So that's what I did. So I'm, that's what I'm gonna do. So now that I've shown you all the parts there. So that's the end result is that so the low clutch, there is no problems with the low clutch because I have already checked it. And number seven is the snap, 17 is the snap ring. Number 12 is the clutch end plate. So those are the metal end plates on each side. And there was no wear on those um, disc clutches so everything was good. The low clutch is all good because you're just idling. The low clutch is on when the car is on idle. Then one is D is two and four and three is I believe D2. So there it is. So I hope you guys have found this video helpful if you're doing your transmission rebuild. And so this is part of the transmission automatic AT clutch set for the Honda Civic two-door EXKA4AT. Depending on what you have, if yours is an automatic or a transmission, I believe, or a manual, I believe it's all the same. So, okay. So, but don't get me wrong on that. So you'll have to check which transmission you have, automatic or transmission, and look at the parts. It would fall under the um, the clutch. And if you want to look at the AT main shaft, you can. It's just a matter of getting to the components and looking at it and see. So main shaft is four and two rides on the main shaft right there. So there it is. You can replace all those O-rings if you want, but no, it's just a seating ring. And there's no need to. They're all in good condition. Well, for mine that is, because I've been keeping good care of my Honda Civic. And then it's now I need the main, I did order the main body uh, valve cover valve gasket so I'm waiting for that part to come in so thanks for watching again see you later